Hey guys, it's Brenda from my wee wee friend's schedule. I am feeling so much better these days. I'm still coughing and stuff, but at least my sore throat is gone and I'm able to speak with you. Guys, I've been having these in my stash of reborn accessories for years. <laughs> so I finally decided once I saw this in stores recently, I'm like, oh, a mermaid theme. Look at these beautiful mermaid, like, what are they called? Charms for a bracelet. And it comes with small beans and you make bracelets. But I thought... I would love to make some pacifier clips finally. Um, I do own a few pacifier clips and the only kind I own are these like ribbon kind. By the way, this is just too adorable. It's a, if you can see, my phone auto focuses a lot, but I thought they could go so well together. But yesterday I went to, or not yesterday, I forget when I went because um, I was self-isolating at home while I was sick. But before I, oh, I remember it was before I got tested. Um, I found these. Aren't they so pretty? If you focus. They are so pretty and I love this pale pink. I thought this would be perfect for twins. Let's open them. Oh, they glow in the dark, it says. So I'm excited to use these beautiful pink colors with a mermaid pacifier clip. I'm so excited. I hope it works. Oh, this is such a pretty color. I love that. So there's one. Bumblebee, which I love. Oh, that's so pretty. So we'll throw that out. Just throw it on the floor <laughs> for now. Um, these, I love these pacifiers too. I found these at Walmart. CA in Canada so pretty but these I've owned for years and I've never even tried them I always wanted to um, I've made my own uh, do-it-yourself like uh, hair hair accessories okay I need to move you I'll be back okay so Let's open this. I found this at our local department store. And I was so happy. But I never opened it yet. So I don't know how these... Like how many are in here. Okay, I'm trying to be careful. There's, ooh, there's instructions. I would love to try and do that flower one, definitely. Ooh. So this side is en français in French, and this is in English. Oh, I'll go back. Okay. Put that aside. So here we have the kit. They do have some string. These beads are kind of small, but. I'm going to think that's okay. So I'll take this off carefully. I don't know how. Okay. So that's put away. Put these to the side. 
I was just mostly interested in these charms. I mean, charms by itself is worth like $3 where I live each, at least $3. And there's one, two, three, four, five in here. That's $15. Um, oh, here's some bigger ones. Um, this whole box cost me $6 Canadian. So, ooh. Um, before I open these, I do want to show you, um, I do have some craft bins, because, and they're dusty, excuse the dust, but it's been a while since I've made um, some things. I do also make my own baby bracelets, and um, I gifted many of these in the past to my friends and um uh, well, I was going to say family, but no, just my friend. <laughs> my reborn family. Um, this is why I use a beaded jewelry cord. It's elastic. Um, I make, I used to make the bracelets and present them on a card. Um, I have these banks I used to put them in. Um, I have ribbon here. Um, I also make my own, um, hair, what are they called? Hair bands? Yeah, my own hair bands. Um, I buy all of these things from the dollar store. These, um, I take the stems off when I buy these. And I, I also make footless sandals out of these. Well, this one's huge. But, um, I've, like, the smaller flowers I'll use in, um, hair bands and yeah <laughs> I'm kind of tongue-tied guys I have washi tape because I used to when I did um happy mail or when I sold a doll here or there or traded one I would use these on the gifts so I have washi tape these are the smaller I've made for the sandals out of these before uh, for my toddler girls, I have, I have these kitty type beads. I should put this into a better bag though. I'll get one of these in Ziploc. I did my names with these. So yeah, I have a lot of uh, this ribbon I got myself from um, when I buy dolls. And they come with these wrapped in ribbon like the doll. Um, I just keep the ribbon. This one's very pretty. I know this is from Wendy of Wendy Dolls. She always she used to like always using like this print for her babies. Yeah, so I use these. Um, I take a, I buy these from the dollar store like as flowers, and then I just pluck them off and use them There's some little little um oh here's one this is the first one i've ever made it says for jamie my jamie summers um this is the elastic i use for making the headbands i do have a tutorial on that here's more of that elastic so anyways i'm just rambling this one looks like it fell apart. That's okay. Easily fixable when you have a hot glue gun. So, I don't need... These ones are just as big as these. So, I won't bring those out. I thought I had bigger beads somewhere. But, I also have more of these bins. <clears throat> I have this bin oh this one has my glue gun I bought at Walmart many years ago I always make sure I have lots oh, and they're falling out <laughs> I always make sure I have lots of these oh. if I get down to like this many I'll buy a, a lot more. 
even though I rarely use the gun. I've been using the gun for different projects lately. It's probably because this is Ziploc. So old. I just keep reusing it. Um, I have pins in here because I oh, I also do a couple of sewing projects. Um, this marker is to mark felt. <laughs> These are magnets. <laughs> These are magnets I bought from eBay. These are the magnets I first bought ever. I bought these from a hardware store. And they are little magnets like that. They suck. Don't buy them. <laughs> buy these kind. These, these are the best little. And I bought like there's like 70 of them or 80 of them for like $13 titanium and also this is what I use for sealing my bottles it's the best for me it's a clear silicone from the bath kitchen and bath it's waterproof and I've sealed my bottles with these and never ever had a problem and it's been and I've had bottles sealed for six years and they're still good. So nothing in here. Go in. Nothing in here that I want. Let's check out this one. Well, this is what I used to use to decorate um gifts as well in Happy Mail. I used to use these on the back of um, um, past fires when I added magnets I used to add the felt but felt over time just wears out and it doesn't, it's not that great so I don't use that I, have some velcro here. I was going to make some doll clothes with these never got around to it some doll clothes here's some ribbon for um um, hair bands. Oh, oh no, I was going to say, here's one that I made. This is what I bought. I bought, see, I buy these from the dollar store, and then I just clip off this green stuff. And this is a thinner, thinner elastic. And I also bought these things to make hair bands on. I gifted a few of those. Oh yeah, this is how they come. They come like this. And here's some. So yeah, I, I love making hair bands. It's so fun. I bought these as well and I gifted a few of those. And here's those bigger butterflies like these. I have a tutorial, like I said, I will definitely add a card. And these are just some fancy more dots. So nothing in here either I need for to make pacifier clips. I'm trying to think of like, instead of this string, like this, I know I have. Okay, there's a bigger bin. Ah, no, I'm not. Wait, I was gonna. So here's some more. Oh, here's some more beans. That's what I was just looking for. I just want like to see. See, isn't that pretty? But you know what? I can cut this and use it as a pacifier clip. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. See something like this. I'd love to turn that into a into a pacifier clip. And I've made, like I said, I've made many bracelets before. I f I found this from a a thrift store. This whole it came in a bag. This and this for like three dollars. I have, a, I have a video on that too. Of when I bought it. 
Okay, so there's some things in here. Some things in here. What's this? Oh, this whole picture of our trip to Winnipeg with my dad. Um, I buy these from the dollar store. There's some lace from the, from the, I found these for like 50 cents from, um, a thrift store. Same with these. Oh, came, came with a lot. Okay. <laughs> and some of these. So, I, oh, and here, here's some satin cording. So I thought maybe I could use a white instead of that. This is more prettier and thicker. So I don't know why this picture was up. So okay. So I will use these, this, and let's see. I'll try these bigger beads and smaller beads. Kind of and add a charm. Oh, so so fun! Can't wait. Before I go, this is what I was. I made this is for a preemie and my preemie baby. See how pretty you can look, and it fits your head perfectly. And it's so easy to make. I just used my hot glue gun. But. Let's try out these pacifier clips. Let me see if I can put you at a closer angle. Okay, let's try this. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll start off with the white cord. And I would like a pacifier clip about this long. So I need to double the because let's, I need to like make it double like this. Let's see how long do I want this clip to be. Not too long and not too crazy. Now I've got to think about the knots. So maybe I'll cut it about right there. Okay, and I would love to use one of these pretty ones before yeah. so these I got many years ago from wish.com and it took them like three months to get them I forgot I ordered them but yeah they came Let's see how do they I didn't even inspect them or anything oh so hard Publix is so old okay she got me closer kind of tough okay so let's try one side and I heard about this double knot. You pull it through and you pretend like you're knotting it, but you just turn it, you wrap it twice. And you put one end. I've never tried this, but I've. But you're supposed to be a little puppy yourself. I don't know. Let's just try it. Unless you want to go get stuff. Why do you want to go get stuff? Oh, well, yeah, it works well and super tight. Cool. Okay, and then. Well, which one would would you like me to get though, or are you thinking of them all? Yeah. Okay, so grab it. Yeah, we can go. Just get dressed. No, whenever you're done. Well, 
Well, no, I could, I could always pause this and we can go. Not taking you long. No, oh, it works. Yeah, it works. What time is it? Okay. Okay, now let's try and put some beads on the hair. Let's try these bigger. Okay, let's try. I want to use these bigger ones first. Let's put two big ones on the bottom and two one in the middle and then two big ones on top or maybe two in the middle okay let's just see now how big are these holes i hope it still works i wonder if this maybe it's too thick Okay, I'll be back. Unless I have bigger beads. I guess these beads are just not good enough. Maybe I... Well, okay, I'll... Sorry. So, maybe I'll just try this stuff. And I'm getting a message from my other son. Okay, just a minute. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. You know what? Time has passed. It's we went shopping and we got some groceries and we got some um lovely groceries coming. Okay, so this is what I have decided to do. I will save this for another future project, like with bigger beads, bigger beads with a bigger like hole in them. But for this one, I will just make a brand new one. I will use the, the stuff that it came with in the kit. And let's see if I can open this. And sorry, you guys, I have my family home and it's extremely cold outside. I had to plug in our truck. Actually, I sh we shouldn't be complaining. It's like, what, January? I don't even know. <laughs> um, and this is the first time it has gotten this extremely cold for the year, which is um, rare. Um, okay. So, yeah, I have, um, like, Erica's home. Francis is home and they're all playing video games so if you hear that noise that's what they're doing so let's see how long I want this pacifier clip and I can feel already that this thread is a lot thinner oh look this is perfect I was going to cut it and it's already cut into strips that's cool so I'll get another one of these beautiful. They're called mitten clips. When I found them, yeah, this Eric. He's playing online with friends. Oh, Eric, I can hear you. So you put this and then you wrap it like you're getting tired, but you wrap it twice. And then you go under. And then when you go up, you go through this little hole that you made.
there. It's all tight. Super, super tight. So, this is what the knot looks like. It's super tight when you do it like that. <clears throat> and excuse my voice. Um. <clears throat> Sealed, still dealing with uh, cold symptoms, but not as much as what I have been. So yeah, you do it once, like you're going to tie it, but instead you're going to wrap it around two times. And then you go under I'm so sorry that you can hear it <laughs> and then um you go up through that loop like this and just pull it down there super tight There. Then I want there to down. Okay, so now where's that beautiful pearl? I wonder. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Okay, now down here, see that was a lot easier than that thicker thread. See if I can This is it. This is as far as I'd like to go. Now, see here, I need to now put a double or triple knot. I probably, a double knot would probably be good, but I'm going to do a triple. Well, maybe we'll see how fat the knot will become. See, you know what? I might want to do it the same way that I put it on the end. Oh no. <laughs> I can't have to do it this way. Just trying to make it as down low as I can. I wonder if one knot will do. Yeah, actually, one knot. One knot is good. Just make sure. You see that? Can it come off? Barely there. Ta da! Oh. So there's my pacifier clip. Let's try it on. Which one should we do? This one. This one. I think I like this one. So put it on here. Nope, oh, sorry. There. Well, let's try it. Now I only have <laughs> I'm Daniel with me. He is a star of Carcita. I don't have a girl, 
But let's just pretend. Sorry, I have garbage on the floor. I didn't throw that out yet. Okay. So here is Daniel. Pretend that he's a girl. Let's see, is this too long? I think I made it too long. Let's just pretend this is like, ooh. Yeah, maybe this, okay, next time I would love to shorten this. At least make, like, make the beads go up higher. But, you know what I can do to fix this problem is, yeah, it's too long. I made the loop at the end way too long. So, if you can see what I'm doing, just make sure. I'm just undoing this. Okay, so this loop is way, way, way too long. So, I'm just going to tie a knot. I guess right here. I guess. Now is it too short? Make sure that it's tight. And then I'm just going to cut this off. Get my scissors. Okay, I found my scissors. And next time I will not make the loop like that crazy long at the end. At least now I know this is the very first pacifier clip I've made like ever. Okay, let's shorten it. <laughs> now hopefully I didn't make any regrets. So let's put this on. Like I said, hopefully I didn't regret doing that. Okay, it's working. A few more beads to go. There. Pretend this is. Ooh, I love these beads. Let's see if I can clip this. Ooh, I love it. Look at that beautiful thing. Now, if he had a magnetic, I could totally just. I don't have his posse out right there, right yet, but yay! I love it. It's beautiful. I'm definitely going to make more of these. For a very first posse clip, I think it's I think it's really good. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm so happy it worked. Yay! And it looks pretty. I love it. Now. Do you guys have suggestions on where I should put the charms or should I just leave the charms for um, bracelets, like baby bracelets? Or is there a place like maybe near the end here, a charm? Or should I put a charm like maybe around here? Not too close to this though, right? But what do you guys think? News guys, hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, bye guys. Love you. Have a great day. Much hand.